What's up everybody, me Tom Game here, bringing the last part of the Resident Evil 7 beginning hour teaser demo. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Let's go, pal. Alright guys, so I'm bringing you the last part. So I'm actually re-recording this because I'm... Uh, the, uh, the first time I tried it, uh, the audio for the game was offset from the game for some reason. My Elgato or something screwed up in the middle. So I'm re-recording it, but at least it's going to give me a chance to figure something uh, out better. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you the true ending of the game. And then after that, I'll try to do the um, dummy finger. But uh, one thing is I've tried already for uh, the, over the last couple of days, I've been, I tried for almost an hour or two to get it to work, but there's one part in the process that never wants to work for me. Uh, I've uninstalled the game and so many other things. So I'll start off by showing you this thing, and then we'll attempt to do the, the whole demi finger thing ending. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so to get the true ending, well, it starts off pretty much the same way every time. True ending's pretty quick, if you know where to get all the stuff. So, I already, I already did it attempting to do the dummy finger first. So I'm just going to show you guys uh, explain it, explaining it to it, explaining it at the same time. But first, what you want to do is get that handle open up. The and then you go get the fuse to open up the stairs. Alrighty. All right, so we're gonna putting the fuse right here, X fuse. Now we're gonna go upstairs. The only thing we need to go upstairs, uh, the only thing we need to do the true ending is the basement key from upstairs, so. All right. All right. Go upstairs. Hello? Grab this key here. That's literally all you need, really. Then we go back downstairs to the mold door. Oh, hello, ma'am. Ma'ams. It's pretty, it's actually pretty quick. Alright. Right here. Someone taking a shower. Gadoonch. Alright. Now the door's open. Now here's the tricky part. To get the true ending, you must not get hit by the molded guy in the basement. Okay, so you'll hear the big monster thingy. Alright, so the best way to do it without getting hit is we're gonna grab this valve here. Now there's two ways. There's two ways that the, the the molded fella comes in. If I touch the door here, he's gonna come out of this vent here. Or if I go directly into this uh, door here, he's gonna come out of the shelving right there. So the shelving right there is the worst way of doing it because he's gonna, he's almost gonna hit you automatically because he's gonna be in your way. Because we need to get basically the attic key where the doll is over there. That's where we need to go. So what we're gonna do is this is our exit. Keep that in mind. So what we're going to do is we're going to touch off the door, run all the way over there, get the attic key, and then come back over here and kick the door open. That's the best way of doing it. So, a lot of movement around here more. Okay, that's me. Alright, so, basically we touch the door, immediately go, run. Now immediately, the molded fella is going to go to the right. Like this. Oh shit. Usually, usually he's, he gives me a little bit more of a chance than that. Get out. Ooh. And then he does that. And then he should never respawn again. So keep that in mind when we're doing the um when we're doing the dummy finger thing, that's an important part to remember. I don't I usually don't get to that part when I'm doing it, but And then to get the true ending is basically go up to the attic and use the attic key and that's your true ending. So we'll just go there. Nice and swiftly. It's a bit stressful too, because usually it doesn't turn around that fast. 
but I'm, I'm assuming once I touch the door to try to open it, when I'm pressing X the first time, it it doesn't trigger him to 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 hurt me, because he he would have probably hit me because he's quick too. So, all right, so we go up here. And then we just use the attic key, and la di da. Yeah, I, I, di I didn't need really to grab the valve for this part. And that's it. That's the true ending. Then you get a little text. When the authorities searched the house, no videotape or other corrobor corroboration evidence of murder was found. The man's description of the event were outlandish but detailed, however, there was discounted after a small amount of LSD was found in his possession. Of course. Those damn bakers. Alright, true ending. Oh, that was pretty easy. Basically, when you do um, the dummy finger thing, we're going to try to get a true ending at the same time, too, which is pretty simple. Alright, so, we're back at the beginning. So, same thing again. We start off, open this little door here. Go get the fuse to open the stairs. Alrighty. We'll put the fuse over here. Alright. So first thing we're going to do, is we're going to turn right. This door is always unlocked, like I mentioned in the last demo. And we will be getting this uh, book right here. The blank notebook. The blank notebook. So then we'll go back. We'll go grab the dummy finger, which is over here. Dupe. Dummy finger. Okay. Open up the stairs. Alright, so we go in this room over here. Uh, we can grab the, dumb, the basement key now if we want. Then you want to grab the celluloid, or uh, object made of celluloid. Alright, so we're going to go here, combine them. Alrighty. So, then you want to read here. Then you have to hear that giggle. Five guests murdered, but who know nothing to point at the blah blah blah. Right? So, once you go in your book, there's something written in there before it was blank. So now we've got Grace will not wake when the clock makes its chime. Her cover are heavy and it's her last bed bedtime. Right? So that's a hint right there. Pretty, pretty quick hint. So, this is where the dummy finger becomes special. Alright? So we go down there. At the, at the main entrance, which, which I'm assuming is the main entrance. So the first hint, basically, clock chimes, heavy, blah blah blah. So we, you will go into here and uh, examine object, and then you have to point it toward, towards the pile here. And it should, there you go. And then you should hear a bunch of noise. And I think that's about it. Alright, so the next part is we have to go back upstairs. Now here's the part where my I have a problem where it never works. So it's pretty early on, so that's that's a bit of a problem. So we we'll go over here. We have to look at that light over there. For some reason it never works for me. And it still doesn't. Alright, now it works. Alright, so if you want to make it work, you have to you have to play the video. For some reason, it didn't work for me, like, forever, and now I watched the video and it worked. So, that's all. So now we're going to get going through that fucking thing. Now, if I remember, there's... yeah. So the next thing is, Phil tucked and tight and on his cold, stiff bed, he's saving, having sweet dreams of not being dead. Alright, so... So if you went through the house a bit, you'll figure out pretty quick that that's the basement where the... Do I have... Yes. So that's the basement where the, the thingamabobber is. Fucking hit me, god damn it. <sighs> Fuck. I think it, it, it doesn't matter. I think we'll do 
Will it work anyway? All right, so he's gone. So this is the body we have to look at here with the hand. Uh, evaluate. That should work. There you go. All right. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have the infected ending unfortunately, but it's still I'm st I'm still gonna be able to get the 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 ending anyway. I'm pretty sure. to do is hit this right here yeah, there we go so we got our we got the third murder we go back to the book these things are so random though the giggles i don't know why they're like uh stanley was told to go hide and then seek but they wouldn't let him out no matter how much he shrieked so to get that one here it's this door right here so grab your finger then we'll point like this there you go all right now how to get the other uh hint here you will look at the mirror here and then you'll quit once you look at the mirror you'll press o and back very quick or maybe not Or maybe not. Or maybe not. Okay. You have to move. It. You have to go almost at the, the thing itself. Alright. So the next one is upstairs. If I remember. I'm going by memory here. Oh yeah. I forgot to read the book. Alright. So. Uh, Marlene was so proud of her white and blue necklace it made her feel tall and left her quite brightless. So the important part is blue and white here. So when you go to the bed here, if you look up, there's a white and blue wire. So you'll grab the fingers. And you'll have to point around here. So there you go. All right. Once you once we have done this wire, we have to go back to where the molded monster was. All right. Once we get to the basement, there is a doll right here. It should work. All right, so we got finally got the giggle. That took me about three three tries to get it. So we got it. <laughs> All right. So the last thing we need to go, uh, we need to go back upstairs to the kitchen. So let's do that. And we will go see to this spot over here. So first you have to open it up. Ew, cockroaches, that's gross. Then, oh, forgot to read the, um, when we read it says, uh, Timmy did not mind the harsh light of four suns, eyes required ahead, he did not have one. So that's, that would be kind of a hard fucking hint to figure out, you know what I mean. So you're going to take the hand and point it towards the broth. And there you go. Yummy. Definitely something you want to try with your in-laws. Alright, so basically now we have solved all five murders. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go back up to the attic. It's pretty simple. Like, I've tried it a couple of times, so I remember it pretty easily now. 
but the, the hints sometimes are like the first one's pretty clear then the blue and white thing's pretty clear anyway so we're at the door you see now all this this was a white door before and so we should be able to go in now and yes it is it's unlocked oh a chair all right you are the best ever okay awesome Ooh, dirty coin but that's pretty cool that's creepy. Inspect. Yeah, pretty, yeah, very dirty coin. So apparently this dirty coin will be useful in the main game itself. It will actually give you something, so. That's pretty cool right there. Alright, so then we'll just uh, jimmy our way out of here. Just by the normal true ending. I Now, before, before I actually go... Uh, one thing I did is I did restart not be infected uh, just to simplify my I think it helped I don't know uh, at the beginning you know I said I had to play the video forget the, f the first giggle not not at the um, not at the lettering right here in the basement but the light right right in the other room actually if I just go get the pliers and get the videotape all that the giggle happened after that so I think you need at least the videotape uh, before it gives you the giggle because I tried a hundred times before that and it never worked so that's one thing and uh, actually for the the doll the doll thing that actually takes a couple of try before you actually get it so for um, uh, I, multiple videos I watched they said the same thing some say you need to see the ghost uh, either the one when you're when you're behind um, uh, Pete or whatever that the anchor but the anchor guy you can either see the 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 you know, in, in the video itself. Uh, there's ghosts that randomly pop, but they pop for like half a second. And there's usually one in the stairs when you're turning a corner to go into the living room, or right under the stairs. You know when we uh, when we did that quick turnaround to find the, the 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 giggle. That that's where either that one or the other one. I when I the last time I tried before. Uh, before getting the laugh from the doll was the one under the stair I saw, but I actually. I almost missed it. I only saw it for a fraction of a second. I only saw the shoulder because I wasn't positioned correctly. So those are a couple of health, um, helpful tip for you guys to to get it. So yeah, and we got the true ending. So pretty simple. So I'm happy that I was able to do it because I was getting pissed off there when I was trying it all the time. I was trying it. Uh, pre I was trying it often enough. Uh, like I tried at least 10 times to, to try to get that light thing to work at the beginning and it was just I got discouraged after a while and I th the first video I recorded I actually just thought of like giving up but I actually got it so we got it I'm happy so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you enjoyed it like it, of course try it yourself that coin is important if you want to if it, if it does work in the main game in the, itself so of course if you like the video subs uh, if, if you liked it like the video subscribe to the channel Please, I would enjoy if you subscribed and, of course, liked the video. <laughs> Leave a comment below what you thought about the demo, the whole demo, pretty much. Uh, because some of, the, some of the endings don't work, like the phone ending doesn't work now. Uh, I think the backdoor one still works. Uh, I haven't tried it. But, uh, yeah, the phone one does, doesn't work. And I think there's... I don't remember if there's another one. Anyway, yeah. And, yeah, so follow me everywhere. Me, Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, YouTube.com forward slash Me, Time Gamer. Where I post a new video every day, week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Keep on keeping.